Going to the front page, you just select the setup Git Sync icon located in the upper right corner, and this will initiate the Git Sync wizard. There's a four step process here to getting everything set up. And the first step is to log into your hosting service. In our case, we're going to use GitHub. However, you can use Bitbucket, GitLab, or any other Git service with webhooks enabled. Just enter your username and your password or a token. A token is a little bit more secure as you're not entering your password directly into the website. All right, and at this point, the next step is to create the repository. So we will navigate over to GitHub, which is our hosting provider for this example. But again, this works on any other hosting provider. You'll want to select the plus sign and then new repository. And we're going to give a repository a name that matches that on our, on our particular web server, but you don't have to do that. You can name it really whatever you would like. You'll want to initialize the repository with a readme, just selecting that little option there, and then creating your repository is all you need to do. Once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to copy the URL to the .git file. You can do that by hitting clone or download and copying that uh, clone with HTTPS URL there and pasting it into that field. Test the connection and if everything checks out, you should have a notification letting you know of such and just simply hit the next button to go on to step three. In step three, we are creating the webhook. You'll get the payload URL, you'll wanna copy that and go back over to GitHub, go to settings, and from settings, you will want to access the security and webhook section uh, of the administrator. And once you've done that, there's a button that says add webhook, just give it a click. And from there, you'll be given a form that you'll need to fill out. The payload URL we copied earlier uh, from the Git Sync wizard. There's no secret required. Just make sure that active is selected and that you are just doing the push event. Do that, you'll have your webhook all set up and you can actually go straight to the next step. The fourth step is selecting which directories within the user folder you want to sync. Now by default, the pages directory is really all you need for your content to sync with GitHub. However, you are able to do any directory within the user's folder. So for example, your plugins, your themes, you can have all of that sync with GitHub. Once you've done that, finalize the wizard and you are set to go. You can test your site by going to the front page and hitting edit this page and that will take you directly to the page that you are currently on on GitHub.